So choosing a rare gets me uh, five or better 87% of the time. Sometimes it gets really high numbers. But sometimes it just kind of gets a bad card. I'm going to choose a rare. I won't choose a rare. The downside is just very low, right? Lose six max HP. Who cares? Lesson learned. All right, cool. Well, well done, everybody. We want to watch your run. I've actually, I have lost watch your runs with lesson learned starts for what it's worth. But I do not intend to this time. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay. Lesson learned plus. It's kind of tempting to take a bowling bash for sentries. Also, because I kind of want to go this way. Like, when the hallway fights upgrade your cards for you, it's a lot more appealing to take hallway fights. I'll take a bowling bash. Twenty-six, thirty-eight, plus nine. We do play this strike, but we probably don't actually end up needing to have. Defend plus. Not awful. It's like a crescendo over a flurry. Crescendo combos with lesson learned pretty well here. This is the four years astral fields. Another defend plus. Is it time for pressure points? Probably not. It's time for an empty body? I don't have a potion yet. Scary. I'm gonna take an empty, I think. I have an extra way into Wrath. Let's get a, an extra way out. I'm going to kill back one because this one's going to take a turn off attacking and this one isn't. I'm sorry to hear that, Mayashi. Well, now I have to kill this one. Rude. Hopefully this doesn't attack me. Nice. Falling Bash has been good. Uh, I saw as good a chance as possible. Any lesson learned here? Thanks for Raid Merle. We did it. Shundo plus. An empty mind if I want. Like a consecrate, it's a guardian act. Hmm. I'll take an empty mind. Card's okay. Card draw seems like it combos with lesson learned too. Defend upgrades feel like they're good with Empty Mind somehow. Three. Lesson learned hitting all the good cards, you know it. 10 plus 18 feels like not enough. Shoot. 
I could use this. I think I'll do better against sentries or lack of villain now. Okay, strike plus. Some cards I don't want. No potion. How's my Gremlin mob? Usually Gremlin mob is just kind of like automatic for Watcher it feels like, but I just haven't really been offered an attack. I guess think of Flying Sleeves. Flying Sleeves is fine. Less unlearned for some damage too. Start now. I'll go one more turn. I think a potion increases your future potion chance. I just kill it. You always gotta ask as a watcher. So there is Empty Mind, Vigilance, Miracle, Empty Body, Defend. I'm a little bit concerned that if I do that I end up not killing it quickly enough. I think I'll just take a little bit of damage. Okay, lesson learned, yeah. Okay, pretty good luck of villain fight. I can rest. I have upgraded every defend. I can dig. Hold on. I can take every empty in the game. I have a swift potion now. I don't actually hate it. Also, like, this is genuinely a dig, right? Upgrade is a lot less valuable when I have a lesson learned and I don't need to rest yet. I think it's actually just a dig. Um, okay. I could upgrade Eruption. That would not be super unreasonable. I also take an empty fist. Over skip. I think a conjure blade, it's allowed. Wonder how conjure blade does into Gremlin Knob. I can't say that I've ever tried to kill Gremlin Knob with Conjure Blade in recent memory. Sure, I'll take an empty fest. One of each. How bad could it be? I got a real relic, bag of marbles. Thirty-five, 
Cool. I got Gremlin knob. I have an eternal feather and a shovel. Oh my god. Uh, spirit shield, another rare. I don't think this needs a spirit shield. I could take indignation for another wrath entry. I have three wraths, three empties, and one column. Feels a bit lopsided. It is also my first way to apply vulnerable though. I think I'll take it. I can grab an Omomori. Slightly better than blue key probably. Slime fleet. And an explosive pot and a mental fortress, probably. I've been assuming that I'm going left. I guess I could go here. Seems a lot safer to just go left. Kind of awkward. Yeah, that was a bad potion. Wallop, Meditate, Perseverance. Uh, I think I'd Meditate over Wallop. I have three upgraded defense and a mental fortress already, and I need more Calm Entries. Alright, we dig again? What a sweet run. Meal Ticket. So much sustain. Rush Down. Rush Down, Card Remove. I think singing bowl. Nah, I'm gonna take rush down. Let's be real. Oh. Elites get better card rewards. The decision isn't just relic from elite versus relic from campfire. Elites can give potions, card rewards, gold. I would have taken an event over a hallway though, as well. It feels silly to path into a potential sentries fight with a deck this strong in Act 1. Like, I don't know. I could just not do that instead, right? I think I'm removing a defend because I haven't found much in the way of attacks. Speaking of which, I could buy a carve reality. Flying Sleeves is kind of trying to be Carve Reality, but it's a very bad version of it. <laughs> I could buy a Carve Reality. I don't know. I'd rather just save my money, I think. I could also buy a Dark Shackles. These are both things I could do. I think with my Relics and my Shovel and my Lesson Learned, I just... I'm doing fine and don't need to do that. Charlo.
So next turn I have lesson learned. Another good fight. I think I'm at full health. And like, now I have three strike upgrades as well. I'm really hitting all the good upgrades. That's fine. <laughs> that's that's whatever. Uh, let's dig. Ink bottle is non-terrible, probably. Well, that's not a very good turn one. I should have played the defense because I just picked up an ink bottle. Fusion of Hammers, Dream, Boss Relic, Runic Pyramid. Runic Pyramid is Dream, Boss Relic. What does Energy even do? That's fine. Fusion hammer is definitely very good here. I don't know how good it is here. One energy per turn is not that good when your deck is an obscenely powerful once your deck. Which maybe my deck isn't yet, but we're working on it. Friend Guardian. Can you die, Sam, please? That flurry that I didn't take. What did I take over it? I don't remember. Empty Fist or something? No, I don't think so. I don't recall what I took over it. I miss it, though. JC done. Thanks for loving months. Appreciate it. Wasn't it skip over Flurry? There's no way I skipped over Flurry. Don't believe. Sounds implausible. Alright, we got a mental fortress upgrade. We got a scroll. That's usually pretty good. I don't think Dex Pot's better than Speed Pot here or Weak Potion. Some energy. Some energy seems okay. I could go Black Star and go for two pages of relics. I also have Ink Bottle. I think Holy Water is pretty good. 
crescendo. That sounds right. Yeah, crescendo overflow. Okay. Let's head over here and then make some choices. I don't know if I'm going to go for the super elite. Might be a bit risky. Twenty-seven and twenty-seven. But greed is good. Questionable advice. Next turn I get Lesson Learned and Flying Sleeves. Alright. I got my last Strike Upgrade. That's outstanding. <laughs> I've upgraded every basic. Thanks, game. Uh, Carve Reality for free. Sure. Have I heard about Lone Star? I have not. Okay, sight's been a little bit longer than I expected it to be, but we got there. I've messed up Ink Bottle, yeah. Flying Sleeves upgrade. I'll take a Tranquility Plus pretty happily. Explosive pot. Nah. I'm at full health actually, so the damage I took was perfect. Explosive pot. I don't know. Maybe it's better than the speed potion actually. Bag of prop seems real good. There's a lot of stuff that seems pretty good here. It's not collector, so pilots is a bit less exciting. Let's kill. 13, 18. And 19. I can scroll first. Get back, thanks for 37 months. Appreciate it. These aren't it.
Got a meditate upgrade, which I'm pretty happy about. Only 23 incoming. I can go Vigilance, Defend, Defend. Be fine. Maybe scrawl as well, though. I should have played Carve Reality there. My bad. Just joined in this run already looks like a win. Well, it doesn't have to be boring to win. Okay. Vigilance upgrade is an awful. It's like one of my best block cards, yeah. Another crescendo plus. I really want to go left, but on the other hand, it does lose two campfires, each of which is a relic. <laughs> so maybe I don't go left. I think the super late dead's kind of nice. I'm unlikely to have a great buy here. Maybe I'll have enough gold for a card remove if I'm lucky. I don't hate having another crescendo. I also don't love it. Oh. Let's just go up the middle and get another dig in. A dream catcher. Every campfire relic. Peace pipe one? Peace pipe would be cool. I would stop digging. I don't know. Chat kind of likes it when I dig. Maybe it wouldn't be good. Uh, that was wrong, I think. Because if I draw into less learned there, it gets awkward. So I shouldn't have played the thing that drew extra cards. Car really plus mummified hand. Okay. Looks like I got quite a lot of gold there too. I wasn't actually paying attention, but it seems like a bit. I could go with the Deva form. Do I want to? No. But I could. Establishments, the energy generating rare power I would like in this run. It's like kind of fine now. I don't know. I only have 62 health, I guess. Centennial puzzle. Okay. I did get gold, so I have a card remove already. I can skip war paint. Don't need that in this run. Empty body is maybe not the hit I wanted. I 
I would like to just blowing bash and win. Yeah, like that. It's one of the cool things that bowling mesh can do. Uh, just kill Reptomancer or Gremlin Leader and use their summons as an advantage instead of you needing to kill the summons. The cut through fate's already upgraded. Don't think I want it though. Why did I skip Warp Ant? One. Two, three. I guess I have three unupgraded skills in my deck. I don't know. Every card in my deck is going to upgrade from Lesson Learned. And I need the blue key to kill the heart. I, I just don't really want to cut through fate. I don't have enough energy for it, I don't think. Another Mental Fortress? That seems better than a card removed to me. I don't know, actually. Card removed seems pretty fucking good. Pretty good. I'm gonna take another Mental Fortress. I can get card removed somewhere else. I don't quite have enough block for the heart fight yet, and this is a way to increase that, so. Gremlin Horn. Kind of sweet. An anchor. My turn one got even better. These cards don't do anything. Can I have stuff that does something? Oh, but I just have Scrawl on my opener every time. Big fan of that. Uh, I don't know if Defend is it. Brain Fist! I'm taking damage, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm not taking damage and it doesn't matter. Well, I am taking damage and it doesn't matter. But I'm also kind of not taking damage and it doesn't matter. Anyway, we'll just kill when we go to the campfire.
don't actually know if that's worth one energy next turn. 19 damage. It's too bad that Bowling Bash isn't upgraded. It's been such a good damage card. It's been in my deck the entire run. I feel like it deserves an upgrade. Have I not been nice enough to lesson learned? I feel like I've been pretty nice to lesson learned. Meditate's getting stolen here. I guess, man. Did I draw Meditate this turn? Works for me. Unfortunately, I don't get to uh, meditate the best cards. We draw an extra three. have a great hand next turn necessarily, but I have a weak potion. Okay. A lot of basics in the deck. Yep. Only gotten two card removes so far. Going to a lot of floors which are not question marks makes it a bit harder to get card removes. It can still function though. Brawl plus, it's not a bad upgrade. Establishments. Uh, do I actually have enough card draw for it? I don't know. I'm gonna take it though. Seems like a very good establishment shell. I don't think I need Exploding Potion now that I have Gremlin Horn. Pandas. Yeah? Seems good. Mental Fortress number three. Two more empties. I have five empties now. A Crescendo, a Sands of Time, and a Swivel. I think I'm going to start with Lesson Learned. Lesson Learned every fight and not upgrade every card in my deck with a deck under 30 cards. Gotta go there. Well, that simplifies the act path thing a bit.
All the work of lesson learned, all the strike losses. It's like three strike losses all cried out at once. It's okay. Lesson learned will be all right. It's unfortunate that every attack in my deck is uh, apparently empty fist. Establishment plus straight away. All right, last thing. Okay, it's not like a totally atrocious fast thing. I don't think it's at its best. I have no flurries, no halts, no just luckies. I do have three mental fortresses. I guess I'm okay without it. Could take a wave of the hand. Could also not. I think we'll go with not. I don't think I need a regen potion. I don't know, actually. I'm gonna take a regen potion. I don't have any campfires on this route. Floor? Windmill strike? Windmill strike? Who on tunes? Thanks for the four months. It does become zero cost. Sometimes you can do stuff with Sands of Time and Windmill Strike if you're like s slow enough. I don't think this is the spot for it. Upgrade all your cards. Um, I have the Omo Mori. Unfortunately, I don't have a shop. So it would just be a billion gold for next axe shop, which I can't really spend. Let's take our boss. Slice Delix isn't bad. Another Empty Mind. Empty Mind seems real good now that I have Meditate Establishment. It would be my, what, sixth empty? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. That is my sixth empty. How many upgrades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight upgrades left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it should upgrade. I think we keep weak potion. Hmm. I don't know if this floor is an upgrade though, I guess. What a weird spot. Like, I don't actually want to play Flying Seas here because I want it to go to zero cost for the rest of the fight. 
strange. We've watched gameplay for hours. And it's still the one class you have no idea how to play. Watcher? Watcher has a lot of very strong stat swapping synergies. She can do a bunch of other stuff too, but checking out how the stat swapping synergies work is a good first stop in a learning to play Watcher journey. Been having that issue with Ironclad and Ascension, how to block and get enough damage in one turn. Mm -hmm. Duke of Limus, I'm doing well. Wander has arguably better stand swapping synergies than all of the other classes. Agree? Yep. Don't think you're wrong. It's not a real golden kappa, it's a lie. Disappointing, huh? That people would just lie like that. Any advice as to semi-universal stance cards? Uh, I mean, I think you can just take all of them and have them in sensible ratios. You can also try to make a small deck so that Rushdown just goes infinite very easily. Like right now, if I had fewer cards on my deck, this Vigilance and Indignation would... I could play them infinitely, because every time I enter Wrath, I draw two cards, and it takes two cards to cycle swap. Like, the only one I really don't like very much is the next turn into Wrath 1. I don't remember its name right now. Simmering Fury. There you go. Seven people in chat have told me its name. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch chat. Definitely close to lesson learned. Like I have it. Be rare. Didn't go infinite or anything, just have enough stuff. Lesson learned against transient. Could even do it this turn if I wanted, but we'll just do it next turn this time. Mental Fortress plus a stance potion. An inner piece. Inner piece looks real good. Now that I have this fossilized helix, I could think about not taking damage with my first card played against the heart. It seems hard though. I would need a block potion probably. Oh, I have an anchor! Oh shit. Never mind. Let me walk all that back. That should be pretty easy actually. I'm gonna keep my weak potion. You go stance potion over regen potion. Sure. Nope. At some point, I have to recall. Not yet, though. Molten egg. All right. Lesson learned. Dealt 69 damage. Huh. Wow. If I were a better streamer, I might have done that deliberately. Uh... I 
Fuck it. Didn't get a curse, nice. One's okay. Are there good cases to portal straight to boss? Uh, if Reptomancer can kill you, for example, you might not want to fight Reptomancer. Which would be easier if you simply didn't fight any enemies. of time a plus uh rush down number two seems real good with this establishment package i'm sure if i'm joking or if i've already forgotten all morning i had forgotten all morning yeah but also like i mean Like, you still don't want to use an Omori charge there if you don't have to, right? At least I assume you don't. I don't know. New to the game. Where's my bowling punch? Bowling bash, hello? Is a new weak potion better than the old weak potion? Maybe. Definitely something I should have thought about. What an obscene character. Also, Loki, I think Mummified Hand might be a good relic. Like, I'm not sure or anything, but it's one of those feelings that you start to get sometimes. Rushdown plus, ooh, Potion Belt is not bad at all. I don't know if I want Wallop. I have three Mental Fortresses. I probably don't need a Wallop. Is Mumpet Hand possibly the best relic? Uh, I'm pretty sure that I would put it in my top five. I haven't thought about that for a while. I made a tier list for relics at some point. You can get rid of a curse by transforming a curse with a memory. You can't. Can do that. It's a neat trick. Cards do I think I play in a run? I think it's a huge variance actually. The difference between like a silent run with catalyst and the this watcher run, for example, is very, very, very large. 
There are somewhere around 100 turns in a run, usually. So I would start from the fact there are about 100 turns in a run then try to think about how many cards I play per turn, but that's going to be very different from run to run. Point of Opter is also great. That lesson learned. I want another lesson learned. Lesson learned could have a friend. I don't think I do. Two rares. Kind of cool. Flash of Steel. Finesse. Dark Shackles. fine with it. Didn't make my time eater fight any better. I don't think the time eater fight's a problem though. You have a discovery election? It's a pretty good card. There's nothing wrong with taking Discovery there, I don't think. That's creepy, right? Couldn't love you more, you've got a beautiful taste. That's creepy, yeah. I feel like that's creepy. You're welcome, Gabriel. It's just romantic. Oh. Okay. My bad. Songs about a hamburger. Well, when you put it like that, it makes so much more sense. Vanessa Plus and the boot! Alright, we'll see if the boot outputs more or less than Mummified Hand, which is making me 1.8 energy per turn. It'll be close. We'll see. to learn a lesson. Next obscene? I don't know. I don't know. We clicked on the cards. Don't really want those... Bottled Miracle? I don't think so. Mother Dick. We have one. Two. Eruption isn't upgraded yet. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven upgrades still. I might never upgrade eruption. I'm gonna dig over upgrade. Then this wheel seems fine. Energy is just potential damage. Boot is good damage immediately. That's that's real good thinking. That is. 
arguably, arguably tempting. Modified hand requires you to play more than one card. Whereas the boot gets value out of just one card. Yep. By which you mean, I assume there's just one card in the deck that would get value from boot. I assume that's what you mean. Can't win the game with energy, you win the game with damage. Or judgment. Judgment's another option. Oh, I probably should have tried to lesson learned that one. Feels like that would have been a simple way to lesson learn. Oh well. I feel like a certain blocking instrument would be good here. Oh, calipers. You might be right. Swivel plus. This is not time eater. I do have several powers. Lesson learned? No. I have lesson learned stuck in my deck. Whoops. I probably could have and just didn't notice too. I get stronger the longer I spend in the fight because I get to meditate most turns. Woke Bloke has 14 strength. For now. Let's we'll see how that goes. Oh no. Alright, it's fine, I guess. After you start watching George, you're a university major. Sexuality and gender changed. The only cause in your life is George playing Slay the Spire. It's a lot of change. Hope you're doing well.
The universal constants are J for Jorbs and G for gravity. I don't think I stream consistently enough to be universal content. Constant? Constant. Made you gay as well? Sorry. Sorry. How did my agency <laughs> influence this in any way? I feel like you uh, may be attributing something to me that I did not do. There's never a rowboat when you need one. Have I noticed that? Every movie, when they need a rowboat, bam, there's one. I never had that happen to you in real life. I have before, but only because I was on a boat and it already had a rowboat. So I guess that's kind of a, a somewhat unique situation. And I don't think I want that. Could bottle flash of steel. Sure. Arguably better than not bottling anything. Not actually sure that it is. Shuriken seems good. So does just pear, though. I like waffle and card remove. Maybe that's the best one. I did kill the transient before the transient ran away, right? It's not like my damage is low. <sighs> this way I get to high enough health that I can tank the 67. Should I somehow just draw so atrociously that I end up having to do that? And then I can heal back with potions a bit. Bowling Bash never upgraded? Bowling Bash and Eruption never upgraded. I feel bad removing Bowling Bash. It's done so well. I think it is the correct remove, though. Oh well. Sorry, Bowling Bash. It did its best. It did pretty well, really. It did the bash. It did the bowling bash. These cards and then crescendo. Indignation Dark Shackles seems good without really any critical examination of whether there's something better. Probably there were things even better. I mean, how could it be better than this though? <laughs> That's always the thing, right? How can it be better than very easily winning the fight while taking zero damage? What exactly does that mean? I guess I didn't really need to Dark Shackles this enemy, which has died before attacking me. That's... that's... yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Why does Twitch have stories? I couldn't tell you. Alright. The Corrupt Heart. Uh, 
I'm going to say that wasn't the best possible turn one. GG. I lose. I lose or I win. Which sort of GG? I'm going to get rid of Lesson Learned. Kick damage equals GG. If I didn't get rid of Lesson Learned, I would have drawn Dark Shackles next turn when they actually did something. What a disaster. Just have a stance potion. Do I need it? Nope. Actually, one more card. Rihiko Kaspar, thanks for the 25 months. You could have gone a few more days without reading Honker Donker Joinky Jorbers. Did you? I don't know, some things are important. Oh no, I've taken damage by playing Indignation because Indignation takes damage when you play it there, even though nothing else ever does. What a disaster. before anyone notices. I feel strongly that that would be unethical. I forgot to use the weak potion. I guess I'm allowed to use some potion. Arguably all of them. Jorbs abusing bugs. Trigger puzzle. Run invalidated. Oh, crescendo might work the same as indignation, I guess. I don't think it does. But I might be wrong. How will I win without talk to the hand? Hmm. Cheating? Maybe. Those are basically the two options, yeah. Your cat really loves watching these streams and videos. That's good. I feel that um, being popular with the pets of viewers is huge in terms of success as a content creator. So it's always good to hear that I'm managing to put that together, you know? Way more important than most other things. chat. Wait, hold up. I just started a YouTube short and immediately addressed Twitch chat. That would have been so confusing for the people watching my YouTube shorts. 
Hello, shorties! No, that's not... That isn't... That's not... No, we need to... Um... Alright. <laughs> Hi there! We have another Watcher win <laughs> for the year. Um... This was a lesson learned from the whale. I did some math at the start of this run on choosing a rare card for losing 6 max HP versus just choosing any card on Watcher, because I had a feeling that maybe I preferred choosing any card. But my math implied that I slightly preferred choosing the rare. So I went for it and hit lesson learned, which is obviously the dream, and went for like a pretty large Watcher deck because once you have a lesson learned every card you add to your deck, you're expecting to end up upgraded. Also, like defend plus becomes a reasonable way to block you don't have to build towards some sort of strong combo when you have a lesson learned your basic cards are just going to get you through most of the run so we did that we ended up with a really strong rush down establishment thing in the end would i have needed it to win probably not gg I haven't actually uploaded a short for like five days. I just have a folder full of them. I should probably do that a little bit. You just failed a run that got an early lesson learned. You think you're